Hi guys, uh, this is Alex Koloskov uh, from Akil Studio. And today uh, I got uh, in very nice place in Atlanta, it's a big studio. I was invited by John Williams uh, from uh, Huntwire Digital. And uh, John is gonna show us something very interesting uh, which Hasselblad released recently. It's a new camera and it will be especially cool for guys like me who has old uh, non-Hasselblad back but with Hasselblad mount. So, John. Sure. How are you? It's good to see you again. Yeah, my All pleasure. Right. All right. Uh, let's uh, talk about what you got here. Okay. So, Alex, like he mentioned before, is shooting with uh, currently a Phase 1 uh, digital back, but he's also on the Hasselblad H1 platform. So what we want to talk about and show today is the H4X, which is the new body that allows you to shoot with things like the HCD 28mm lens, but also importantly, and Alex will probably talk about this in a second, but it also gives him a chance to focus uh, his right. camera and then recompose and take advantage of true focus. We'll, we'll track where you originally focused and even if the camera moves, it remembers where the original point of focus was. So it's a great big help. So we look forward to getting his P25, I believe, yeah, P25 yeah. Plus, putting it on the H4X and shooting with the 28 millimeter. Yeah, I can uh, tell you guys about uh, that they're focusing uh, issue when when I shoot relatively close like a portrait and uh, usually I'm focusing on the eye of the model and uh, it works fine if I focus and do not recompose because uh, Hasselblad has only a center uh, focusing point right it's not like a can when you can select it so when I shoot like this it's fine but when I shoot something more like uh, roomy like waistline portrait i usually compose on the eye i mean focus on the eye and then recompose to get whole body in the frame and in this case focus especially if it's wide open aperture like f 2.8 or 3.5 somewhere like this it get blurry it's, it looks still fine but it's not as like what i expect from that amazing camera when it's crystal sharp on the eyes and it's an issue and uh this new feature should be really appreciated. Let's see how it works. Okay, uh, so we got uh, H4X camera here with my P25 Plus back and uh, great uh, HCD 28 millimeters lens, which I don't have yet. <laughs> and uh, John is gonna explain us how it's gonna work with my back, the true focus technology and all the new features this camera has. Absolutely, so I'll just grab that one from you real quick. Okay. Okay, so Alex, part of the uh, advance that we've got on the H4 mm -hmm. platform is that the autofocus uses a bright white LED to uh, help with the autofocus. And this is really important because previously, um, if we look on the H1 here, you can see that the autofocus assist is infrared, which doesn't do so great on someone like me who has right, you know, nice. a very dark shirt and uh, you know, very little contrast for the autofocus right. to work on. So on the H4 platform, they went to a very bright white LED that mm -hmm. will put out actually some contrast bars as wow. well so that it helps the lens uh, focus a little bit more. So we're gonna look and see how this new bright white LED comes up and Eric's gonna step up a little bit and he's got on a black shirt, it's very tough to see. And you'll see that that bright white LED is coming on. Nice. Yeah, so that'll help the camera also focus. So that's right. like a big thing for the H4, mm -hmm. um, you know, that we'll be able to extend to you uh, on your digital back. Uh, that infrared sensor on the old one, uh, did it fire, uh, does it fire the pattern or just the light? No, and that's a great point because if we look at, um, in this case, I've got an H2 uh, camera body where we're also using infrared. So it's just simply sending out an infrared beam and, of course, uh, hoping to get a lot of that signal back so the lens can pick up the contrast right. and know the distance of where it should focus. Unfortunately, especially in cloth material and, and non-contrast, low-light situations, you know, the inf there's not enough of the infrared signal to come right. back to help the lens understand right. where is the contrast. And sometimes what that produces is autofocus hunt. Alex, do you want to shoot this at me? And then uh, I'll stand in front yep. of the camera so you can see the pattern come okay. up on the shirt here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so it's right here. here. And I know yep. it's kind of tough to see probably because, well, we're in a pretty light studio. Yep. Yeah. 
pick right, up. Great. Yeah. Okay, let's see how it works with, uh, I mean, through focus technology with recomposing the, the image. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Lindsay? A little bit down, head down a little bit. You know, yeah, like you're driving. Okay, excellent. Yep, excellent. Okay, and I'm recomposing and shoot. Okay, so now I got my old H1 uh, camera back with um, P25 Plus and uh, we'll see how it works without that new technology, uh, without true focus technology. Same shots. <laughs> Three, two, one. So I'm doing the same thing, exactly the same thing. It's hard to see right here, but okay. Three, two, one. Okay, a few more and we'll be done. Oh, can you drive? Let's see. Oh, great. Three, two, one. Okay, last one. Three, two, one. Okay, so I was focusing on the model I and then uh, recomposing so the uh, the bike will be uh, about on the center of the frame. 